Oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Driving You Home at the Radio Show podcast where we just waffle absolute queer nonsense. I'm Wayne Carter, and today my spirit animal is, wait, wait for a second, um, never won an award. Uh, please, sir, I want some more. I'm the Oliver Award. Oh, wait, it's Olivier. Oh, damn it, I've already stuffed it up. Uh, Off to a flying <laughs> start as usual. Consistent on brand, yes. And I'm Sam Lake, and today my spirit animal is the octogenarian with an insatiable thirst. I'm Dame Judy Quench. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quench. Oh, that was beautiful. Thank you so much You're for welcome. that. welcome. I'm so moist right now. Disgusting. <laughs> So is your face. Uh, speaking of... No, I was going to say... Do wait, the rest uh, of the intro, Wayne. Uh, what is the rest of the intro? The name of the show. Driving you homo, the radio show podcast where we just waffle absolute queer nonsense. I've done it. Great. Okay? Yep. Can I introduce our successful tangent guest now? I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it on, Brad. Keep it consistent. Uh, so we have joined in the studio the talent of the beautiful drag queen, drag hostess, drag sensation. She's out of this world. It's only Mars. Hi. Hiya, you right, doll? I'm good. Okay, I'm allowed to talk now. This is fantastic. This is so good. <laughs> it's your time to shine. You can like just literally kick Sam off the yeah. off the pedal stool. You can talk anytime you want. Yeah. I'll, I'll just. I, I think can I leave. Will. <laughs> I mean, please do. I've been. I mean, I'm to... often not here. Uh, yeah, so. exactly. You're consistently on brand. Um, so Mars, how how's you? What's life journeys, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera? Um, well, I'm I'm really hungover. Um, thank you for that. For starters. Also, um, we are pro drinking. Uh, driving you homo. I've had three gyms. <laughs> yeah, I am Irish, so... I had a nice coffee. That was mine. <laughs> I had a drink. That a was nice, refreshing, <laughs> alcoholic coffee. Oh. Espresso martini. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. lovely. The drink of champions. Yes. That's because um, if you have enough coffee during the day, it stops you from wanting to kill yourself. And alcohol is a natural depressant. They balance each other out. <gasps> it's, all, it's all just about balance. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I do like a nice balance. I, I can't relate. Do you? <laughs> I'm not balanced. No. I'm on a mental You're health journey. You're a Libra, Wayne. I'm a what? I'm a Libra. Libra. You are literally supposed to be balanced. How did you know I was a Libra? Because I know everything. Oh, she's stalking <laughs> me. Yes. Do me, do me. What am I? Virgo? No. A shambles. Yes. <laughs> yeah, squid. Okay, no, I'm, I'm trying to think. Are you an earth sign? Which ones are the earth signs? The uh, ones where they're bloated. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No. Mm, are you one of the air signs? What are those? I don't know. I think uh, I'm a fire sign. You're a firebender. Okay. I, what, what I see. I see Princess Azul huh? of you. What month are you born in? I feel like that's just giving it away. Well, there's well, two. There, there's, there's two options. So August. Yeah. September. So, no, oh, so the, the one before Leo. Virgo. I'm a Leo. <gasps> Grr. Well. Oh my God! How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't even with you two. Um, I've never been this close to a Leo before. Oh, well, I mean, how <laughs> many? How many people are you, do you? Are kn- you okay? <laughs> <laughs> this no, is. No, I'm. Um, I. Am, I. If you're friends with me, you know that I famously hate Leos because every man that I've ever dated has actually been a Leo, and I'm not bitter at all. It, have you been seeking out Leos, mm. or do you, are you just naturally attracted to them? Um. Well. No, because I am allergic to cats. Right, I say that for you. Yeah, um, yep. yeah, but they just they just find their way to me, and I just um, I don't have the heart to turn them away. Aww. So you like better see cats and dogs home? You just want to yeah. welcome in the strays? Yeah, even with you know I don't have the fleas to match. Aww. I have fleas. Yep, it's called head lice. Mm-hmm. That's why I shaved my hair off. It's is not. that actually? No, it's it? not. Is it actually? No, it's not. I had a I had a Britney Spears moment where I was having a mental health journey and I went to shave off my sides of my hair. I wondered why you were hitting my Uber with your umbrella. I mean, well, uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So I, I shaved off I shaved off my hair. Well, it was more of an accident because I'm just cheap and poor and um, I don't want to give a hairdresser my money because I work. Yeah. Because you don't I, want to fund out the homosexual lifestyle. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want queers having my queer money. I want my queer money to be with me. Your yeah. queer money? My queer money! Your pink uh, pounds. My pink pounds. Is that like my Scottish pink money? So, sorry, we can't accept that. It's queer money. <laughs> so, I'm so sorry, sir. It uh, looks funny. I can't. It smells funny and it's doing a leg kick. I don't get it. <laughs> get away from me. Um, so how's so we've asked Mars how they've been. How have you been, Sam? What's, what's up with you? Tell us your journey. I'm doing all right. Um, Anything new to report? Uh, well, two things. One, I'm quite proud of myself for mm-hmm. not making my spirit animal the thing that I said it could be before the show. Well, you, did you say squelch? <laughs> 
No, I actively said that we should not be allowed to say the word squelch. Why can we not say squelch? I've said it now, squelch. (laughs) You're welcome. Why can't we say squelch? I feel like squelch is a good word. No, because it's a a copyright thing. Oh. Because of uh, squelch's grape juice. Yeah. No, so I Javine, think that's the brand name. No, well, no, Javine's all-purpose cream. That is our brand. That, that is, is our brand. That is our. Javine oh. has a cream. Javine, you know Javine, right? Because I, I said because we were talking about cause real we, things. Yes, I I bought like, just surrender your love. CD yeah. of that when I was six years old. Did you know Kanye West is in the music video? Someone tweeted it the other day, and I just think that's something that should never be forgotten. That shouldn't be forgotten and should be like <laughs> rigid, Commemorate. religiously yes. reminded to people it should be a national holiday so yeah so Javine she's a cultural icon she's mm-hmm. staying re- very relevant she did a panto last year and she um, you know we were looking for someone to sponsor uh, Driving, Driving Homo, you homo. Yep. I did remember the name of the show it's okay hi hi babe <laughs> Driving You Homo we do this occasionally yeah um, and uh, you know we needed a sponsor and it, we thought it would be good to get someone who's you know, a celebrity had an, a celebrity endorsed product, and along came Javine's all purpose cream. Mm. So, like, it's good for moisturizing, it's yep. good as a condiment on, you but, know, like, but, maybe the, some but, fries. The, but the issue is, we rituals. can't talk about the, what was it, squelch? The jam. We can't talk about squelch, the uh, uh, grape juice. Grape juice, I apologize. Squelch is grape juice. I, Gemma in squelch? The break, I will give... <laughs> is it Gemma squelch? Yeah, Gemma squelch. <laughs> Gemma She's squelch is great. Someone puts on a big foam Gemma Collins suit and goes like, oh, I'm Gemma Squelch. <laughs> oh, I'm Gemma. Oh, I'm Gemma Squelch. I've come to give you some grape juice. Squelch, squelch. And that's the tagline. Squelch, squelch. Uh, and they just sort of walk out. And the the really interesting thing is, it's not so much a fat suit as it is a huge pile of smaller grapes. And, like, you can just throw them. Like, they're like... Yes, they're, because they're, she has piles. <laughs> kind of like poison ivy, except not. Yeah. Yes. Except yes. less attractive and less appealing and no one wants them to be there. But hey, hi. Yeah. She's there. So to answer She comes your, out to the races. Yeah. She throws grapes at you. She throws grapes at the dogs. <laughs> and Javine slaps catch, them in cream. Catch. <laughs> Oh, if you've you've not lived until you've dipped uh, Squelch's grape into Javine's all-purpose cream. Oh. Yeah. Gemma Squelch and a Javine all-purpose cream. I mean, that's Javine's my dinner. Javine's all-purpose cream. It's the dream. Squelch. <laughs> anyway. To, what a time we live in. Anyway, to answer your question, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> to answer my question. Uh, <laughs> you were fine. Great. I'm fine. Uh, I, I did a preview of uh, of, my, of my friend show. Oh, with uh, Chloe Pets, with Household Chloe Essentials. Yeah, it was very nice. Oh, wonderful. Thanks yes. for the invite, Dom. Oh, you were <laughs> actively invited. I mean, everyone was on Driving You Homo because yes. you did promote it several times. I did. I chose not to come because I had a booked gig. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How rare for you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for acknowledging. I said that quite loudly. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. People know that I am bookable, um, booked and blessed, talented and great, etc. Mm-hmm. Uh, gal pal of the show, uh, Sue was on there. So oh, gives yeah. Sue gives a squelch. Mm. Yeah. yeah, Sue gives a squelch. Uh, yeah. She was she was on the show and she, much like you, uh, read me to filth, which was great. It's just so easy. It's so easy, isn't yeah. it? I mean, mm-hmm. I wish I was a little bit more, you know, talented. Sadly, I, I mean, one drag queen, one successful drag queen per room and tonight <laughs> it's Mars. So. <laughs> yeah, I don't make the rules. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, triggered. Great. Excellent. Uh, no, so I was doing, I was doing a show... Uh, Kate Butcher's uh, new. There's a variety show that she does. Um, she's oh been God, on the show as well. Peppa Pig performance changed. Oh, her life. her Peppa Pig <laughs> is no, but like real tea. Like she does a gag on Peppa Pig is so funny. She gags on Peppa Pig like pe- like the sweet. Sure. Interesting. You need to come to a live well, show with Kate Butch. I will. Them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but so she had yeah, she had well she had a um, a cabaret. Okay. She had a cabaret show on. Uh-huh. Uh, it was in Farringdon, Kensington, Felixstowe. London. F- Frognall. Finchley. It's in Finchley Road. Uh-huh. It was Sorry, I was just trying to remember because I was at my friend George's house before here. And, like, I was trying to remind her. But, like, I was like, it starts with an F or a K. And it's somewhere in West. And I was literally like, I know the name of the place. Uh, so, yeah, it was in Finchley. And... Um, there was it was a weird venue. Have you, it's London Improv Theatre. I've been there. It's such a weird venue. Yeah, I headlined a gig there. Sorry, headlined. <laughs> Sorry. Jeez. Sorry. Okay, great. So Triggered um, again. Uh, talk me through the show. Well, like, okay, so like, it was more I was gagged because the door person welcomed a 
a wonderful lady, a person of colour in, she looked legit like Diana Ross, right? I thought you were going to say Javine. <laughs> God, no. Um, was Javine a woman of colour? Oh, my God, she was. Yes. I never realised this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> woman of colour. Have you just mind-blown yourself? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, so, yeah, so she walks in, this Diana Ross lookalike, and I whisper to Kate, and I was just like, oh, my God, Kate, look, it's Diana Ross. And she's like, ha, 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 funny, insensitive, slightly racist, shut up, Wayne. Um, and then we go all about the night doing our show routines and stuff like that. In the break, by this stage, Kate had been on because she's hosting it. I had been on, did my bit. Um, I went up to her, this Diana Ross lookalike, just to, like, dance with her in the break because, you know, I want to get all of those twos and twos of uh, likes on Instagram. And um, we got to chatting and she was like a genuinely nice person, like a lo- like really loud and outspoken. So it definitely and wasn't Diana Ross. No, <laughs> but she was like, oh, I'm the Diana Ross of Finchley Road. And I was like, ah, like she called herself Diana Ross. And that's when I like lost my whole mind. I was like, She's self-aware. I was like, I-, I called you that before. I said that to you. Like I wasn't like, yay. So there was a moment. Um, Where are you, the Diana Ross of? I'm not Diana Ross. I I'm more Bob Ross. <laughs> I'm more the what's his name? Neil, the guy from Art Attack. Neil Buchanan. I'm Neil Buchanan. Do you know how I'm much the Neil Buchanan? You know the jumpers? with this shirt. I mean, I'm definitely Neil Buchanan. Do you know how much? Do you know Pat how much Buchanan? Those jumpers? Is that a place? I I no. feel like he's an American. I'm, I'm anyway. trying to serve you up a hot fact about okay. Neil Buchanan's jumpers. Right. They cost seven thousand. Shut up! I won't. I'm I've whistleblowing. On I've, <laughs> I've held onto the secret for too long. <laughs> Pat Buchanan, pounds. sorry, Neil Buchanan. Neil Buchanan, formerly from or still on Art Attack. That show has not been on air for, <laughs> for some several time. years. Yeah, right. Okay, so formerly of Art Attack has jumpers, like the guy from Blues Clues had jumpers, but he went off. He went off on a journey there, didn't he? I think. Who? A the guy from Blue's Clues. I the, feel like U- the UK or the US version. Oh my god, there was a UK version. Yeah, that was. Ricky Gervais hosted it. No, it was Ricky Gervais hosted Blue's no, Clues. It was Craig Charles. <gasps> uh, who? <laughs> from Red Dwarf and uh, uh, that uh, cocaine incident. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Plot twist. Mm. Um, so uh, let's go. Let's maybe talk about Mars because they're here. I feel like we should... T- <laughs> Might as well make use of them. <laughs> I mean, what? if you insist. <laughs> uh, so, Mars, uh, we uh, met on the drag scene. You are a... Uh, can you... How would you self-describe your drag to those people who uh, are interested in drag? Um, disappointing. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it's a markup above mine. No, but like... So, like... For me, I, I kind of fall in somewhere in the middle of East London and Central Drag, whereas, like, I want to be glamorous, but I look like a toad. So I'm, like, I'm clearly East London drag because I'm rough and ready, but also I want to do those sort of, like, show-stopping numbers. They're, like, old-school camp numbers. So I'm somewhere in the middle there. Where do you find yourself in that kind of Venn diagram of drag? Do you think you know yet? Um. Well, I mean, I work in Central and I work in... East, mm. I think I'm certainly. Well, I live in East. I live in Hackney, of mm. course. I'm, I'm sitting here in a beret, um, like, and I'm an artist, and of course, I live in Hackney. Yeah, that's queen. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, I mean, I certainly identify with the East because I think it's it doesn't take itself super seriously. It's often kind of political. It's kind of punk. It's it's not, you know really focused on pageantry and polish and all yeah. that sort of thing. So I think it's it's really gritty and it's really cool. So I think I, I do identify with that. But then, um, you know, I work in nightlife as well, which is... Well, yeah, because you're, really you're a... You're not... Uh, a, like, you ha- you do do cabaret shows and you do um, live vocals and you do lip syncs and stuff like that. But from what I've been seeing a lot more of you is that you're, I guess, what's the term? Like an it girl? Like you're just sort of around, like you're just around looking pretty, but like in a good way. Like is that is that that's a thing, right? I like mean, hostess. Well, yeah. So yes, I, I work. Yeah. I work as a hostess yeah. in Cirque du Soir, which is mm. in Carnaby. So it's kind of like circus theme. So it's not a it's not a gay club, um, but you know because it's a circus theme, of course yeah. they want lots of 
spicy, exciting individuals there to just, you know, liven up the party. Yep. So they got this boring bitch in a red wig. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I work as a hostess there, um, which is fantastic because I drink for free and they have really nice stuff there. No, I'm kidding. Um, I love working there. And it's, um, yeah, so it's, that's kind of the equivalent of my day job because I don't have a day job, hmm. but I'm a drag queen who is on a payroll, which is very unusual. <laughs> <gasps> P-A-Y-E? Pay as you earn? Do you pay taxes? Um, <laughs> well, because, because, we're, because we're live on air. Yes, of course I pay my taxes. This show is also <laughs> sponsored by HMRC. <laughs> oh my Aww. God, really? Where Juvene now works. Yas Queen. Yeah. Wait, her Royal Majesty's Commission? Her, okay. Her Royal... HM, H, H, Her S, Majesty's H, Revenue and Customs. See, Remember I was Roy, close. I knew it was about the Queen. Um, I was on that journey. Yeah. What? That. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did I stutter? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's. Uh, there has been recently, and I want to clear. I want to get some uh, a, a, a slightly meaty topic that um, has come up in uh, Mars's sphere that um, I want to talk to you as well about Sam mm-hmm. and Mars. I want you to like. Uh, essentially vent all your frustrations and like your feelings and um, your position in terms of this uh, situation but we'll try and keep it as uh, diplomatic and as mm-hmm. uh, what's the word we won't Very, we won't throw out really na- Julie Andrews. yeah we won't we yeah. won't throw out any names um, because yeah. of right of reply and to be respectful of mm-hmm. those people because obviously they are talented performers as well but uh, you uh, recently or are you have cur- curated a uh, variety show called Gender Schmenda. Yes. And you... Re- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and it's a safe space. It's, a, it's an open space for queer artists, uh, drag queens, drag kings, non-binary, uh, uh, lip syncers, live vocalists, poets, whatever your performance style is, to come on and do a turn and um, wow the crowd with what they do. Mm-hmm. Um, unfortunately, you had a bit of controversy that happened in the last... Uh, show. Do you want to talk about that? Yeah. Cool. So the reason why I will touch on this is because I have absolutely no intention of trashing anyone. And no. obviously I will not name the person. But I think it is a very important topic to talk about, which mm-hmm. is what we call in 2019, like, cancelling culture. Which is like, someone does one wrong thing, or in my case... Did not do anything wrong, um, but people believe that I did something wrong, and it's as simple as, you're cancelled, drag her, expose her, mm. she's dead, like, you know, you know, Mars is dead party, hashtag on Twitter, like, you know what I mean? It's this whole thing of, you know, I think it's great that we live in a very politically conscious climate, mm-hmm. we need to, and it's great that people actually give a crap about, you know, what's going on and everything, but I feel like there's a huge problem with... Um, people's approach to activism and trying mm-hmm. to bridge gaps between people. I think some people's activism is very, very blind. Yeah. Um, and I think, or one-sided. Yeah. And I yep. think, listen, it's if your heart is in the right place and you want to fight for what's right and everything, that's great. But that needs to be done in a certain way mm-hmm. because um, if you are too reckless, there's very serious consequences. So... Yep. Um, the situation that we are alluding to was um, I had a performer on the show who I I really admired. I had seen them perform before. Um, extremely talented. Um, talent was not not the issue. Extremely talented, extremely passionate, um, and does in many ways encapsulate what, you know, uh, London drag and kind of like East London drag is all about, which is really, you know, it's it's political, mm-hmm. it's punk, it's gritty yep. um, and everything, which was all fantastic, except um, the issue was that I called them out for, uh, no, not publicly, I messaged them to politely... Um, to ask them to apologize after they had uh, engaged in some unprofessional behavior, which obviously upset uh, staff Mm -hmm. um, and which disrupted the show and everything. Um, And they they already had concerns, which they were inquiring about. So I was just trying to clear the air. Um, And very quickly, um, I was called a a racist, a transphobe, a money grabber, um, and all sorts of things. And... 
obviously this was extremely hurtful mm -hmm. because, you know, th the reason why I want to do drag is like to celebrate so many different identities, to bring people together, everyone embrace, you know, who they are and celebrate it and, you know, all of that sort of thing. So for me to be called those sorts of things when literally my life mission is to try and be the exact opposite. Well, exactly. Was extremely hurtful. Um, and I was not going to really tell anyone about this. I was going to deal with it in private. Internally, yeah. Except this person decided to Blast post it. about me. Yeah. They they outright lied multiple times. Um, and these allegations were extremely serious. Um, because well, it can have rippling effects on your like livelihood, can't it? Exactly. And, yeah. and listen, um, I, I'm not, you know, being a, a victim here. If anyone is called a, a racist or any of those things, of course, yeah, you know, it's it's always, it's always serious. But especially for me, in the circles that I work with and everything, you know, London is really about pushing inclusion and diversity and all of those things. Mm -hmm. And I'd worked really, really hard in the time that I've been here to try and do that. Yeah. Um. So. This had reached people I used to live with, mm -hmm. people I had worked with, people I was going to work with, my friends and everything. And there was like a witch hunt after me being like, drag her, expose her. Who is this? You know, this racist, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I, I was just like, these these people don't even realize who they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. So I had absolutely no option but to. I posted our entire conversation online because I just said the the consequences of this are far too serious. Yeah. This could literally end my career. Yeah. Um, and I wasn't willing to let that happen and I wasn't willing to let someone lie about me um, and say all of those extremely serious, harmful things. Mm. Um, so that, that was the only reason why it went public. But, you know, I still had people who I didn't know attacking me, mm. calling me a racist, backing this person up when they didn't know me, they didn't know what happened. The evidence was provided in plain sight yep. um, and they refused to look at it or they did and then they went yeah but this and yeah but that and poking holes and things and it was just so frustrating to me because it's like people are interested in fighting the good fight and all of that stuff and that's terrific except you, you need to take things into context mm -hmm. and it's not as simple as it's a white person versus a brown person so if the white person says something you know, negative about the brain person. Oh, they're a racist and it's because of their skin and it's because of this. I think people need to realize that, you know... Well, case-by-case case situation, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. even if people have misunderstandings, you know, let's talk about it, let's be yeah. adults, let's have a conversation. You know, I'm, I'm not going to be attacked by people who I don't know online, who yeah. don't know what happened, who don't know me. And it's not about me, 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 me. The whole point that I want to make is, you know... Well, firstly, besides the fact that people should, you know, talk to each other in a civilized way. Yeah. And that's how people should sort their problems. But um, this whole cancelling culture and, you know, if, if someone does or says one thing that's bad and all of a sudden they're over and, you know, people yeah. just are so vicious. But also, I mean, I'm, from my takeaway from this whole situation, f uh, two things. The first thing is your show name is called Gender Schmender. So you're actively trying to provide a safe space for those people. Now, yes, this person might not have felt safe in this moment, and yes, they might have felt a certain kind of way, and they should have, from my perspective anyway, they should, from like, if you didn't feel safe in a venue, Sam, I'm sure you would have, like, you would use your... Uh, uh, in, you would talk to the venue, or you would talk to the booker, yeah? Yes. Thank you. But also, this goes back to, remember that Twitter round that I got into? I do remember it, yes. And this, it yeah. reminds me, this situation reminds me 100% mm -hmm. about what happened with me in terms of that, like, so many people go instantly go, oh, okay, I know this person, therefore, they are right, they can do no wrong, I'm going to defend them to the hill, even though either I have evidence or I don't have evidence. Yeah. And I think exactly what Miles was saying, that counselling culture, we just need to be aware of this situation. Um, yes, transphobia and yes, um, racism and yes, uh, homophobia and all those kinds of isms and all those kinds of phobias and all those kinds of hatreds of other people. Zero tolerance for that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But also, let's be real about this situation and let's be real about like maybe, on, like, like I said before, case by case situation. So maybe this mm -hmm. one 
there is there's mud in the waters some of it might be on their side maybe it's some of it's on mars's side like but then that's between those two parties to talk about it like mars was saying Mm -hmm. you were saying to like let's have an open and frank discussion about it together and then we can like solve any bridges because you also as the booker and the promoter you have to make sure that the acts are happy but also you need to make sure that the venue is happy Mm -hmm. and you're in that sort of middle ground and when the venue is saying hey because i've been in that position you've similarly being in that position I guess when kind of like well from my perspective anyway, mm-hmm. I have where I have to go okay I need to make the venue happy but also I need to make the acts happy and also I need to be happy but also I need to make like it's all about a big melting pot of happiness yeah and when someone's not happy you need to figure out why and how can we make them feel better but that person also has to be open to discussing why they're not happy yeah. and this and I think that is where that falling down happened yeah. is this this specific individual um maybe felt a certain kind of way and was very 100% for that standpoint and did not want to hear anything other than that standpoint. Mm -hmm. And if that's the case, all power to you. Can I ask how long ago this all happened? Oh, this was literally a week ago. Okay, so people could still be very much... It was still this day day last week. And Mm -hmm. I'm sure, because Driving You Homo is a global reaching show, if this person does hear it and feels a certain kind of way, they are more than welcome. Uh, Even though we haven't named anyone, um, you have a right of reply, so you are more than welcome and more than happy. We're happy to have you on, uh, so please do get into contact with us at Driving Homo, and we are happy to have that discussion with you. Uh, but uh, we're about three minutes late for... <gasps> <gasps> what are we late for? The squelching. <gasps> the g- grapes, etc. Are they, are, they, are they the ad? They're the ads. We're going to do some ads when we'll be back. Okay. Very sick. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to Riverside Radio. I'm Wayne Carter. This is Driving You Homo, the radio show podcast where we just waffle nonsense and I'm joined in the studio by this one. Mr. Sam Lake. And... Mark. <laughs> And Mars, the intergalactic <laughs> superstar that she is. Uh, and uh, we are going to do some news? We are going to do some news, <gasps> but first we'd like to do um, what I guess we're trying to make a Driving You Home a tradition mm. for all of the guests that come on the show. Uh, I is can't this... remember who we started this with, but the... Paulus definitely did it. No, Paulus didn't <gasps> do it. Did I Paulus think we know? did this with Gabriel. Gabriel Phoenix. Yes. Sex superstar. Pornographic thespian. Gabriel, mm. Gabriel Phoenix. P- pornographic thespian. Thespian, yes. Thespian. Yeah. Philip, Phil- Phil- not Philistine. What's what's the word of like for penis, but like like phallic? Phallus. 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 Yeah. Because that starts with a P. Fa- Phallispian. Yeah, Phallispian. Patricia starts with a P. Patricia does start with a P. Yeah. Patricia the penis. Yeah. P- yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Patricia Arquette. Patricia. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Patricia Penis Arquette. What? <laughs> just rolls off the tongue. Why would you go for Patricia? <laughs> Everything you, rolls off the you, tongue. Why would you go for Patricia Penis Arquette and not Courtney Cox Arquette? Patricia because Penis. Cox, because Cox. <laughs> because Cox. Pe- C-O-X. <laughs> Patricia Penis Cox Arquette. Oh, it's a lot on the mouth, isn't it? I, I mean, mean, I do it, like yeah, a lot on the mouth, babe. You know what I'm like. You know what I'm like. It doesn't roll off the tongue. Anyway, um, Mars, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do your Florida man. <gasps> Have you, know you seen what that this? Is? Have you stretched my, my Florida? Um, I, I I don't exercise. Okay, so this is a phenomenon oh. that is um, sweeping the nation. Yeah, whatever the sweep opposite of sweeping is, it's doing. It's that doing a slide brush. Yeah. <laughs> The cleaning lady is in. Mucha has come down and she's doing a mild sweep into the studio. It is damp mopping the internet. Um, Basically, Florida is known as a place to have a lot of, shall we say, lovable reprobates. And they cause some quite interesting headlines. And Mm -hmm. so this this challenge, I suppose, is sweeping the internet where we take your birthday and find out what the headline was in Florida on that day. I have seen this on Twitter. Have you heard of this? I have seen this on Twitter. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now we're making it on radio because... Because we're what? Base level funny. Yeah. Oh, That's exactly what we are. Thank you. I like the... But at I least like, I'm pretty. I like the tagline that you had earlier. Where it's like, uh, driving you homo, we're here sometimes. <laughs> or whatever it was. <laughs> driving you Quite homo, like I'm also here. Yeah. Whatever. Um, so during the break, um, you disclosed to me your birthday. Are <gasps> you comfortable with me <gasps> saying that on air? Um, yeah, but... Well, so I'm born on the 22nd of June. I'm a Cancer on the cusp of Gemini. Thanks for asking. But um, we won't reveal my, my entire chart on the air just because no. then no one will date me. Someone could steal your bank details. 
Mm, and we don't want that. Whenever I call, whenever I call up well, um, my bank, and like, I go, oh, and by the way, I'm a Taurus. Yeah, but they don't just go like, oh, what star sign are you? They go like, what star sign are you? Uh, and on the dirty earth symbol. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm an um, ox, by the way. An ox? No, yeah. you're thinking of Chinese, <laughs> the Chinese calendar. Yeah, I'm an ox. Oh, okay. You were just okay. Great. What un Man. what lovely unsolicited information you just gave us. Um, <laughs> the more. You so what know. happened? What <laughs> the more you know. June twenty second. The headline reads: Florida man steals clothes, bites a security guard, and flees in a solid gold convertible. I mean, that is trumps Mars. all of the other ones. So that is gold. Yeah, that is me. But um, I do have to correct the fake news. Um, the what? Convertible what did was, I say? The convertible was red. Um, if you know me, you know. Red oh, everyone red. knows oh. that Mars big red car. Yeah, yeah. That makes She's sense. like a wiggle. I mean, to be honest, you should. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Australian wiggles, right? I do. Are and they, they still going? I thought one of them died. No, um, they got a couple of them got old, and they decided to have a break because okay, old wiggling and, is hard. And then, they, and then they threw in a girl. The yellow wiggle's a girl now. Her name's Emma. She's the Emma Wiggle. Um, but then she's also having issues with like, uh, oh, I don't want to make too much of a joke about it but she had like uh i think a back issue or something to do with her lady bits and i can't remember there was a specific oh she over wiggled her really vagina shows how much you know about the female anatomy you're like exactly it might have been her back it might have been bits. her vagina I'm what like really she sure. no she has like i think it's i you know what i should do more research on this but like i think it's like <laughs> something to do with like a heavy flow but like her flow like it's like it's not consistent and so like she's always very lethargic um, and so she's like losing a lot of em- like this is a thing. I know this she, is a thing. She kept having a there was a whole documentary during live performance. Exactly. So Emma Wiggle, I <laughs> my heart is out there for you. And I'm, then it wasn't I, safe for I the don't... children because bears kept attacking. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. So I apologise for not knowing all the um, the real tea in terms of Emma's um, medical issues. Great. But um, she is a fantastic performer. But we're giving so. her the right to reply <laughs> at driving you homo if you want to get in touch. Please do Emma, Emma. Wiggle. Emma Wiggle, the yeah, yellow wiggle. Right I did like um, the yellow wiggle, but the real tea was there's a song in the wiggles called um, Big Red Car because they oh. drive a big red car. Did you know the wiggles did a Spanish album? Of course I did. Yeah. What, what was it called? Uh, it was uh, uh, Fruit Salad, but ah. in Spanish. Which is... Uh, fruit Salad and, in and, brackets and in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like how Shakira does all of her Spanish songs. Who? Shakira. Oh, Shakira. Yeah. Oh, Waka Waka. That's ahoy, her, right? ahoy, ahoy. No, no, no. This is Africa. Oh, the song, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, please, I am not being a xenophobe. I am not being a racist. This is a thing. Please go with yes, me no, on this. Yeah, this waka time waka, 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 waka. Yeah. Next time, Hull. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, well done. Mm. Oh. Um, um, right. So, Florida man, big red car. Yeah. Well, it was a gold car, but if it's Mars, women's true to form, issues. Red car. Uh, we're here to represent everybody. I think we're ready for news. Can you, you know what? While you're doing the news, I'm going to Google what Emma's condition is. Emma okay. Yeah. Great. Um, so, what's, also, the, what's the news that you want to. Also, whilst you're Googling, yeah. there was also somebody we mentioned in the first half who I've forgotten now, but I wanted to find out if they were still alive. Javine. Oh, Neil Buchanan. Neil Buchanan. Is he still alive? Good question. I will do a quick Google yeah. while you talk about news stuff. We have a running theme on this show where we just can't remember who is alive and who is dead because I thought Carrie Katona was Carrie dead. Carrie Katona's dead. And she's still very much alive. I was thinking of Jade Goody. <gasps> yeah, Jade who Goody is, is not alive. Very dead. Because she died. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> the news. <tenth laughs> to people that died. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. We yeah. don't we don't out people as in queer. We out people as in you could be dead. Yeah. We would never. We would. It's disrespectful. I'm oh, not going to ask someone that for one being time gay. We said that. Um, we also said that Dame Julie Andrews was racist. <gasps> a racist. Tell tell Mars Excuse about Julie. You. I mean, this is. I mean, I mean yeah. this is real tea, though. We've got this is real, there's real live true tea. Yeah. Um, uh, there's actual video footage of Dame Julie Andrews. Dame Julie Andrews doing blackface. Hundred mm-hmm. you know, percent. Yeah. Hundred you know, percent. You know the film um, <gasps> uh, uh, Mary Poppins. I I've I've certainly heard of it. Yeah, there's a scene where um they're they're dancing with all the chimney sweeps and they go up and down the chimney and they get soot all over their face. 
But you see, this is kind of what we were talking about earlier with cancel culture. People be yes. like, Dame "Bam, Jamie got it in is one." A racist because her her. her but skin this is, is legit. It's like, yeah. but Mars, this is exactly. Oh, we saw gosh. this on a. We saw this on a um a news publication that called out Julie Andrews as yeah. being a racist, and we just literally went, "Are you serious?" And this is exactly canceling it culture. Was, and this is yeah. people, it like, was the Metro, in case anyone wants to look at the article. The Metro. Um, okay, so the Rolls yeah. Royce of uh, newspapers. Oh, Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, right, I want to start with something quite hard hitting, if that's all right. Um, and actually, Wayne, I do need your full attention. Please. Okay. Yeah, I, I know. I know. I know. Uh, okay, I'm I, here for uh, it. Mars was just checking, you know, like where I, I can't say man. I, I, I can't say Mars. I'm looking directly um, at you, and I have got full attention. Okay. Wayne, mm-hmm. thank you for looking at me. You're welcome. Um, thank you for letting me look at you. That's fine. I mean, usually um, I feel too. like I want Medusa. you to feel like you are comfortable to answer this question. Okay. Yep. Wayne. Mm-hmm. Wayne Carter. Mm-hmm. No relation to Lil Wayne Carter. The rapper, no. Or Beyonce Knowles Carter. No. But I am a single lady, or if Blue. anyone's interested. Uh, I don't know why you look directly at Georgia. <laughs> I was looking at the camera. Or Nathan I was Carter telling all of the people that are watching this, please date me. I am alone. I actually <laughs> didn't notice that there was a camera. <laughs> um, Wayne. Yes. Okay. If you feel comfortable, mm-hmm. tell us and mm-hmm. the listeners yep. what you had for lunch. Oh, what did I have for lunch? Oh. Oh. This is going to play into your hands, isn't it? I don't know. I had the suspense. I had fried chicken for for lunch. Did you? Mm-hmm. Did you? Yep. Fried chicken, you say? Uh, yeah, I went to. Um, I've forgotten the name of the. It's just on a delivery. Probably a re- it's just a very delivery. Reputable yeah. Joint where you get fried chicken. But okay. I know. I know. Okay. I know where this is going. I know where this is going. Well, first of all, let me salute your bravery. Thank you. Um, and also, well, this is a safe space, and I want to own up. Yes. Yes, I'm a queer of an age. Yes, I'm a queer of a size, and I put things in my mouth on the regular. I you eat. do. I you eat. do. Um, no follow slender up man question. here. Yes. Follow up question. Yes. At present, mm-hmm. because we're on the radio. Yep. At present, how much hair? Hair. Hair mm-hmm. is currently on your head. Little to none. I've shaved it. I've done a Britney moment. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. I shaved my hair off because you know I I was shaving the sides, but I'm poor on hairdressers. But mm. yeah, so I'm mm. I'm slightly bolder than I usually am. Okay. All right. Yep. Okay. Okay. And also, uh, again, mm-hmm. only say this if you're comfortable saying this Thank on you. air. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging my safe space, Wayne. Yeah. Are you are you a homosexual? Oh, you know what? That is a bit too far. Mm. Um, although on Driving You Homo, the yes. queer radio show podcast where we just welcome nonsense, I feel like it would be weird for me as one of the main presenters mm. to be a heterosexual. So, yes, I am gay. Yeah. That was so brave. Thank you so much. Well done. I just, I feel very not attacked. Good. I okay, feel good. The, I, I'm yeah. the antithesis of Laganja right now. Good. Thank good. You. Yeah. I'm not gay, so I don't know. Oh. I can't relate. I'm just marrying a man. I've, but I've it's mostly for tax met reasons. A gay person before. Ugh, I'm yeah. not. Yeah, I'm not aware. I'm so glad I came here today. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is my what first an gay eye-opening experience. experience. Anyway, so where I'm, I've so so to date. Yeah, I've shaved my hair. You have. I've had a chicken for lunch. You have, and I am a homosexual. You are, uh, yeah. and I don't know if you've That's like been. Resume. I don't know if you've been mm, to the you, GP Mars. to find out the cause of your homosexuality. You know what? I didn't know there was a cause. I thought it was more of a well, life choice. Let me bring you some hot, fresh science. Ooh. Fresh from Bolivia. Ooh. Where all of the science... All Bolivia, of the science. Coleman. Um, <laughs> Bolivia, the country. That was just a hilarious point. No, the BAFTA winner. Uh, Olivia Newton-John. Boli- yes. Yes. I Are there more Olivia's? Uh, no, there's bit, there's only there's, there's only just Bolivia. Bolivia. Yeah. There is only yeah. Bolivia's. Bolivia Cox. Mm-hmm. I can't. Penis. Why? I don't. I just no. Be, yours was funny. Mars's was funny, and I wanted to be on that journey, but I couldn't think quick enough. The humor and this is, on is on why this side of the desk. <laughs> Where I'm going with this yes. is Wayne. I I can tell you why you're gay. Okay, tell please tell me. I've been wanting for minutes now to know why am I gay. Sam, why am I gay? It's the chicken. I knew it. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, that, that reverb. Uh, for people who don't know, um, that Wayne was just banging the gay gong. Um, <laughs> you bang that whenever you find out the cause of your homosexuality. And I'm gay. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. gay. Mm-hmm. That's great. Um, yeah, apparently. Chicken makes you gay. Yeah, apparently. Something to do mm. with an. Uh, Estrogen. An, uh, yes, estrogen hormones within in the chicken. Chicken, ladies nom, and gentlemen, nom, nom. welcome yeah. to stage estrogen. <sighs> that's that must be a name that's taken. That's it's nice. Not, no, I came up with this like in the dead of night, a very long huh. time ago, and it's been Anastasia. in my notes in my phone ever since, haunting me. This is a song. Um, uh, but listen, sorry, um, if there is someone like listening right now, mm-hmm. and they are feeling, you know, like Sleepy. they're being called to drag feel free to take it just Estrogen, contact yeah. me um, and then we can sort out the royalties your yep. mom can yeah. email my mom but yeah, you, yeah. Um, my mine is for those playing the home game that there is a drag king out there you are ready you are in a safe space and you're welcome ladies and gentlemen welcome to the stage Sir Loin that's good that is incredible Sir yeah. Loin We're so if there's plus. any kings out there that want to become my drag child I mean best of luck doll yeah um, yeah uh, has anyone taken the drag name Honey Lingus no. Oh, there's a Connie Lingus. Oh, okay, oh, that makes more sense. There definitely is. I, I don't even know who it is, but like I, I've heard that name before. Okay. For sure. All right. Um, I hope she's doing well. Connie Lingus. I, I wonder what she's doing right now. <sighs> we could phone her. Does she have a phone? Um, Not, not anymore. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> she's there, not doing that too well. Many people, she doesn't have a phone. You know, contacting her. Her mm-hmm. life was like a circus. Poor Connie. Two people. Two people contacted her. What? No, no too many. Oh, okay. I was saying two people contacted her and yeah, it was just the, too much. The one and only <laughs> reputable living legend and star, Connie Lingus, was so bombarded by the media that she mm. had to throw away her telephone. Okay, speaking of Connie Lingus and speaking of vaginas, because that's what we're talking about right now. Oh, was I, it? I didn't even put the two together. <laughs> sliding scale, back to Emma Wiggle yeah. and how I said that she had a mental me- oh, me- medical course. issue. She does have a medical issue to do with her vagina. Yeah. It's called Andrio... Endo en- oh dear endometriosis e- endo- endometriosis I was I was looking straight at Georgia who's our videographer going or, like you're a woman you have a vagina help me help me help me or, um en- endometriosis or as the homosexual say endometriosis Aosis. that's fun yes I like that um, that was for Aja. I make illnesses work for me. Make funny. Uh, so that is often a painful disorder in which the tissues that normally line the inside of the uterus uh, grow outside of the uterus and uh, cause more um, more pain for the Palsy woman. Has that as well. Wow. Yeah. So Emma Wiggle like living her best life, owning her moment. I'm sorry. And then, Are you yeah. saying Halsey is Emma Wiggle? Who's Halsey? That would explain. <gasps> you know so who I really much. like right now, Stormzy. <gasps> you know who I like. A lot right now. Who? Lizzo. <gasps> juice. Do, do, juice. Do, 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 juice. Do, do. I'm trying to. Say, I'm trying to sing the backdrop voice. to Juice, but I can't do it. I can't do it. it was it? And I grew in a juice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's exactly how. It yeah. Goes. Also, I'm living for Lizzo <laughs> as well. It. Yeah. I'm living for Lizzo. Mm-hmm. Oh no. It's that time again where we stop. Where we stop talking. <laughs> yeah. Where we stop talking because it's the end of the show. It is. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to time. welcome. Welcome. We're leaving. Welcome and goodbye. Welcome. Good hello and goodbye. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was driving you home. The radio show podcast where we just waffle absolute queer nonsense. I was joined in the studio by Mars and uh, Sam Lake what, what and myself. Uh, you can. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the outro. I can't well, remember it. Well, Jupiter, it's. <laughs> Did you get your name from Sailor Moon, by the way? Did you? No, no, I did So most people think that I get my name from the planet or the chocolate bar. It's actually the Roman god. Ah, uh, fair but enough. But normally Anger. when they just say, oh, like the chocolate bar, I'm like, yes. Oh, no, my favorite is when people call me Morris. Oh. They think oh. my drag name is Morris. I'm like, I have spent two hours gluing down my eyebrows with surgical glue, putting this wig on my head, these pads on my body to become... My ultimate fantasy, which is embodying Morris. Mm. Wow. Yes, did that's you say, my name, Tiffany. Did you say surgical glue or cervical glue? Surgical. 
But yes, Queen. Bringing it back to vaginas. Back to vaginas. Yeah. Yeah. Driving you home at the radio show podcast where we talk about nothing but vaginas for the last two Apparently. minutes. Uh, yeah. Please follow us at Driving You Homo. You can follow Sam uh, at Mr. Sam Lake. You can follow Mars at, is it Mr. Miss Mars? M R M S M A R S. Well done. And you can follow me at number one Wayne Carter. Um, otherwise, uh, we and you are. You can follow the show. At Driving You Homo. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, otherwise, bye. We love you, etc. Bye. Mm-hmm.